It is mid-morning at Mida Creek in Watamu, Kilifi County, and we meet a group of youths busy planting mangrove seedlings along the conservation area. These young men and women are part of the Mida Creek Conservation and Awareness Group that initially volunteered to safeguard the forest. Mm -hmm. This was also an undertaking to promote the conservation of the creek for succeeding generations. Kulinda hapa na kufaidika pia inafanya idleness kwa mta hakuna. Watu wanapata shuguli ya kufanya. It would however emerge a while later that the venture will provide a sustainable income to the locals while they worked to restore a degraded environment through sowing and conservation of the mangrove plantations. According to the chair of the group, Kibwana Ali Bakari, a situation where both the forest and the surrounding communities were fighting for survival awakened them to a realization that they needed to do something to avert total devastation. Na shuli zetu hapa Mida Creek sisi tunafanya uhifadhi wa mali asili yenye kwa hapa Mida Creek pamoja na pia kufanya ecotourism project. The 28 member group is involved in various ecotourism activities that now earns them a living. Na pia tumetuko na restaurant ambayo inatusaidia pia kwa watalio na tufikia Mida Creek pia kwa kupata chakula. Vile vile tunakazi pia za kimazingira kama upanzi wa mangrove ama mikoko. The proceeds earned from these activities are channeled back to the community through a special bursary program developed by the group. Mezesha wale wanafunzi wakuzungu wamba wanazunguka wanazungu wanazunguka tika mzungu kwa Mida Creek na kule Arabuko Sokoke ili kuweza kufunikiwa kwa shule kumasomo ya shule za upili na pia kuenda hadi vio viku. Martin Gumbao is one of the beneficiaries of the project. He narrates how he once thought that his dream of joining secondary school back in 2017 would not materialize, seeing as he hailed from a background of poverty. But thanks to the assets project, Martin's dreams have seen the light of day. Lakini sasa kutokea home radio assets, ambao hawa wanalipa nusu ya ile pesa kwa mwaka. From close observation, it is a testament that all around Mida Creek, the program appears to have turned around the fortunes of hundreds of families living adjacent to the conservation area. Kwanza home radio ambao mekuja, huwa unatusaidia kwa sababu, Kama vile umempilika mtoto wako shule na mimi sina uwezo kwa nitagaramika hili kifi yote kwa pamoja. Wanatupatia nusu halafu mwenyewe pali kwengine na ngangana na mtoto wangu anasoma. These efforts later enlisted the support of Kenya Forest Service that now forms a key part of conservation of the marine forest. This ecosystem we had to include even the community in the uh, system and uh, the community here is very cooperative because they have seen that without Mida Creek most of their livelihoods will not be there. The initiative has also captured international attention as bodies such as the United Nations have recognized efforts made by this group. That tells you how important it is to stop cutting forests, to start conserving forests, to start re-greening, replanting. That is going to be, it's the cheapest way to solve the climate crisis and it's there. All we have to do is change our behavior, stop cutting. So that's why this project is very much in line with our philosophy. Indeed. Mida Creek Conservation and Awareness Group is one among many success stories bringing to the fore the humble noble activities that avert giant catastrophes as big as climate change while at the same time enriching people's lives. Now we have 
the community itself guarding what they are benefiting from. For Channel One News, I am Emily K. Buddy.